It's at this campsite where investigators say former Jetstar pilot Greg Lynn murdered campers Russell Hill and Carol Clay on the evening of the 20th of March 2020. One police document tendered in court outlines a theory that Greg Lynn became annoyed by the couple's drone, resulting in a deadly fight. Police believe Russell Hill may have grabbed Greg Lynn's shotgun from his car. During a subsequent struggle, Carol Clay was fatally shot in the head and Greg Lynn allegedly stabbed Russell Hill to death. Police allege the accused killer then set the couple's campsite on fire after putting the victim's bodies in his trailer. Their decomposed remains were found about 18 months later near the town of Dargo. It's alleged Greg Lynn had tried to conceal them by setting them alight months after he dumped the bodies. Detectives say Greg Lynn's Navy Nissan Patrol was captured on CCTV near the Mount Hotham Resort the day after the alleged killings, and one of the victim's phones was detected at the same place at the same time. Detective Abby Justin said she later went to Greg Lynn's house to interview him and secretly recorded their conversation. She said she spotted the same Nissan Patrol outside his house, but it had been painted a different colour. Greg Lynn is maintaining his innocence and has pleaded not guilty to the murder charges. The prosecutors say he did act with murderous intent. They say there's more evidence to come, including incriminating secret recordings. Earlier in court, defence lawyer Dermot Dan questioned whether Carol Clay's death could have been an accident. Mr Dan asked forensic expert Mark Gellity if there was a potential scenario in which the two were fighting over a gun, causing accidental discharge, which struck Miss Clay on the head. Yes, the expert replied. The committal continues next week. Christian Silver, ABC News, Melbourne.